everybody. Welcome to Excel video 298. I was helping a group that had trouble with their EMR data and the connectivity posting over to the PM system. The, the medical record stuff was posting duplicate records into the billing stuff and it was a mess and they need somebody to dig in and figure out, okay, which records are duplicates so we can get to the bottom of the problem and fix the EMR side. If you need help with your data, let's talk. What I want to do today is start talking about some of the ways you can do different kinds of calculations in a pivot table. And there are all kinds of things you can do, so we're going to start with some of the basics. In the past, what we've always had is one field down here in the values area. And we've just said, yeah, that's great, and we've put different fields in there, and it's worked. What I want to show you today, first off, is you can put more than one field down there. If we drag the write-off field down there and the allowed field down there, See, Excel is just adding more fields in here, and then, it, and then we can see how much Dr. Baljeet has billed and written off and allowed. You've got to just humor the CPA here for a minute, and we're going to go to number format, currency, get rid of the pennies. We're going to clean that up. Let's do the same right here to sum of allowed. Value field settings, number format, currency, get rid of the pennies. So now we can see for Dr. Baljeet, one point, almost $2 million in billed charges, 695000 was contractually written off, and there's my allowed amount as a difference. And so the first thing you can do is put multiple fields down there. The next thing I want to show you is you can put the same field multiple times down there. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to drag the build charges field down there. We'll put it right at the bottom. And then I'm going to arrow down here. Now, before I do, let me show you what it did. Excel says, great, there's the build charges, 1181731. Put the same number. Let's click this out of the way so you can see. 1181731 there. It's the very same number. The only difference is this is formatted. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to click on value field settings again. And what we're going to do is work with this summarize values by tab. And we're going to switch to count. So instead of sum, we're going to count. And there's some other things in here average, max, min. There's some other things down here. I use sum and count a ton and average sum too. But you could get the max or min or some of these other things. Look what it does. Let's change the number format so we don't put currency in front of it. Let's make it look a little bit better. And then we can, the other thing while we're in here, let's just put count by itself rather than count of build two. And click OK. Now look what we have. We have some build, some of the allowed, or some of the write-off, excuse me, some of the allowed. And here's the count. So Dr. Baljeet's had 202 claims. Dr. Fletcher's had 962. And Dr. Candice Lynn's had 960. So there are a ton of claims here, and that kind of explains the increased build charges and what's going on. You can see which doctors are working harder or just seeing more patients. There's all kinds of things you can do by looking at both sum and count in a pivot table. Let's do one more example while I've got you in this Excel video. What I'm going to do is go to value field settings, and instead of count, we're going to do average. And I'm not going to play with the number format. Let's just show you what it looks like. So now what I've got is I've got an average build charge for each one of these claims. So you can see the charges are pretty comparable from dock to dock. The difference is that the, the count, the number of times they were doing them. And we could look at the average amount allowed, the amount, average amount they had to write off. There's all kinds of things you can do. And the trick for today is, number one, drag fields down from the pivot table field list to the values area. You can drag a bunch of fields down. You can even drag the same field down multiple times if you want to see the sum of the build charge, the count of the build charge, and the average of the build charge, say. And once you've got them in there, the trick is the drop down arrow, value field settings, and then choosing from this summarize value field by area. Do I want to sum? Do I want to count? Average, max? What do I want to do? That's what I wanted to show you today to kind of get started thinking about calculations. There's a whole bunch more things we can do with calculations in a pivot table. We'll keep going next time. Thanks for watching.